All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So week 10 of the NFL season is officially in the books. And in this one, I wanted to really talk about the current or I guess the latest updated AFC standings. So the playoff picture, the seedings, and of course, the AFC East. But man, we take a look at week 10. The Jets, the Patriots, the Ravens, and the Bengals all had bye weeks. Uh, so it wasn't as impactful as a typical week in the NFL season, you know, at the top, the upper echelon of the AFC. But there was still some massive games that that had an impact. First off, the Minnesota Vikings defeated the Buffalo Bills 33 to 30 in Buffalo. The game was wild. It was back and forth at the, at the end of the game. Just insane catches all over the place. Uh, fourth quarter was just a nail biter for both teams. Same with OT. It was insane. Next up, the Miami Dolphins defeated the Cleveland Browns 39 to 17. Just mopped the floor with them. I mean, Miami was just on fire yesterday. The Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars 27 to 17. The Titans beat the Broncos 17 to 10. And then the 49ers beat the Chargers late Sunday night. So there was a lot of movement within the conference and specifically in the AFC East here. The Miami Dolphins now have the best record in the division at 7-3 and three, and next week they're on a bye. Second place, the New York Jets at 6-3 and three, and they're going to be taking on the New England Patriots in Foxborough next week. Massive, massive game. Third place. Surprising, but it's 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 reality. The Buffalo Bills at six and three, and the Jets have the tiebreaker over Buffalo here based off of head-to-head -head matchups. That's why the Jets are in second and the Bills are in third. And then last but not least, the Patriots are in fourth place at five and four, and then obviously playing the Jets. So this game between the Patriots and the Jets is absolutely massive. It's huge. It's humongous because again, if we take a look at these four teams' records. Yeah, the Finns are sitting there at 7-3, and three, but the Jets are ahead of Buffalo because of a head-to-head -head win. And if the Jets beat the Patriots, they're going to be 7-3. and three. The Jets also have a head-to-head -head win over the Miami Dolphins. So with the Patriots losing, the, the Dolphins on a bye week and the Jets automatically being in front of Miami and Buffalo, that means that the Jets could very well be in first place by next Sunday. I mean, that is crazy to think about. That is really, again, it, Buffalo could win. Buffalo could go out there and destroy the Cleveland Browns just like the Dolphins did. But for the time being, if that scenario plays itself out, the Jets could be in first place. How crazy is that? That's totally, totally awesome. Now, on the flip side, if the Patriots were to win, that would definitely muddy things up for sure. Now, it's not like the season would be over or anything like that, obviously, but um, you were, I mean, we are going to be looking at a, four, a, legi a legitimate four-team race. Um, again, if the Jets were to beat New England, you kind of have that nice buffer from New England and the rest of the division, but if the Pats win... Uh, again, it's not like the sky's falling, it's not like the season's over, and it's where everybody's slamming the panic button. Um, yes, it would suck, but it would just mean a really, really tight division moving forward. Every single win counts. Now, if the season were to end today, here's the updated playoff picture post-week 10. The Chiefs own the first seed at 7-2. Right behind them, the Miami Dolphins in the second spot at 7-3. The Titans moved up to the third seed at 6-3 because they own the tiebreaker over the Baltimore Ravens, who are in fourth, also at 6-3. and three. The Jets remain at fifth, right, which is huge, at 6-3. and three. Buffalo drops all the way down to spot number six at 6-3. Six and three. And then in seventh are the Patriots at 5-4. and four. Uh, Man, the Chargers losing that game last night against the 49ers bounced them out of the playoff picture. Entering yesterday's game, they were in the, they were in the seventh seed. Um, but it, it's tough, you know, it's tough. It wasn't a divisional game. It wasn't a, it wasn't even a conference game. It was in San Francisco and uh, Chargers couldn't get it done. Now they're out of the playoff picture. But again, it's, it, we're, an, we're, we're only in week 11 here. So, so many things could change. There's still so much football left to be played, but I wanted to do a quick little update just to get everything, all the facts on paper, facts in one video, just so we know where everybody stands and who's playing who moving forward. So, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.